disappear forever before he finds me. Mm. Just got to do one thing first. Death has risked a meeting with the one he's trying to avoid for one simple item. The Skatemate 3000! Super easy to do kickflips with. Oh, I'll be so close! I can almost taste the kickflips! <clears throat> but then he arrives. The Angel of Darkness. The Evil Spirit! Mephistopheles! Lucifer! The King of Hell! Beelzebub! Satan. Oh, Satan! Hey, I didn't... I wasn't... <laughs> what you be up to, bro? Oh, you know. Satan things. Busy, busy, busy. Like a fly. <laughs> That's a... Yep, a good one. <laughs> so... I hear you've killed 300 hairless apes. Kill as it? <laughs> I would pass it by while it happened, yes, but... <coughs> and they were too young to sin. So, they aren't even coming to hell. I can pay you back! And where did you get 300 shreds, <laughs> if you didn't steal them from me? Uh, weekend jobs! <laughs> you are in deep feces. Meanwhile, Sam is trying to pull himself out of deep feces. There are only a few hours left to his curse. Right as Sam is about to go to bed, she arrives. War. Can you believe that idiot? He went ahead and got himself thrown in hell jail, so now I have to be both death and war. That's double shifts and no extra pay. <sighs> anyway, it says here that you were supposed to die almost 24 hours ago. Sam tries to say something along the lines of, No, no, please don't. This is no fun. This is no fun. But his lack of competence in the art of speaking manually only results in this happening. <laughs> Once again, Sam is in hell. Come on, I'm supposed to take you to the gate. Whoa. 
Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be, ooh, the son of the CEO of a huge company. You get your own office, and you get to play Flappy Rooster all day. <laughs> That'll be all your shreds, dear sir. Sam remembers that he has none left. Oh, no shreds of life? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir, but this means you have to go to hell jail. Guards! <laughs> have a nice day. Oh, no shreds, eh? Well, it can happen to the best of us, mate. Let's take you to hell jail then, shall we? Such fun. Uh, take all your concern-related concerns up with upper management. What's your favorite movie, mate? Mine is It's a Wonderful Life. There you go, mate. Hope you will have a good time. Well, let's bring him some food. Take all concern-related concerns up with upper management. And there he is. Death. Yo, 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 Sam. Oh, you came to save me. Oh, you truly be a bro, bro. So, what be the plan? Oh, dude, that be hardcore. But I suppose that be the only way. Aye, when the god comes back, I'll rip him in half and put you inside. You should be able to control him with your manual powers. Here he comes. Uh, do you like strawberry or chocolate cupcakes, mate? I brought them both just in case. Whoa! <laughs> Heck yeah, it worked, bro. I right, crush these bars and then get your butt to the spot where we met for the first time. We be getting out of here, yo. As the still warm insides of the guard squeeze against Sam's skin, he thinks about how lucky he is to be rich, so he can pay for all the hours of therapy after this. How about we Sam violently kills a guard? <laughs> He'll just be reborn as a demon anyway. Of course, Sam doesn't know that. Very nice right now, dear sir. You're not being very nice right now, dear sir. As Sam recovers, so does his foe. Demon soda is the best, dear sir. You are not being very nice right now, dear sir. I'm serious. How about we get you back to jail and watch a cozy movie together, sir? Can't we all just be... I'm terribly sorry. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Sam slays another guard. Crazy and desperate. As Sam recovers, so does his foe. Mm, delicious. Can't we all just be friends, dear sir? I'm terribly sorry, sir, but... And there goes another one! Friends, dear sir. How about we get you back to jail and watch a cozy movie? You're not being very nice right now, dear sir. You are not being very nice. This goes on for a while. Let's just see what happens. Can't we all just be friends, dear sir? You're not being very nice right now, dear sir. How about we get you back? I'm terribly sorry. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but I have to take you back to jail. You're not being very nice right now, dear sir. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but I have to take you back to jail. You're not being very nice right now, dear sir. 
I'm terribly sorry, sir, but I have... <laughs> Alright, let me just open up a portal. Oh, snap. Silly, hairless ape. I'll make your pain beyond imaginable. Time to mention those concern-related concerns, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> 
Stand still, God darn it. Did death just do a kickflip? As Satan is distracted, Sam grabs the opportunity and grabs Satan's sword. How did he do that? I've been skating for just as long, and I can't... Ouch! What the feces, dude? Oh, sorry, dude. No offense, but you were being kind of a douche. Take me to a gosh darn hell hospital. Oh, uh, okay, dude. Oh, thanks for everything, Sammy. Of course you get to live again. 
I will even grant you one final wish. Sam looks up to the sky and wishes that the 300 orphans came back to life, safe and sound. Not that heaven is a bad place to be. But, 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 but that's 300 orphans and 300 shreds. I've been saving up for an eternity. Oh, fine. And so, Sam gets resurrected for the last time. Our story ends in the middle of last Wednesday, where a sort of hopeful young man named Sam is about to make amends with his girlfriend. Whoa, you showed up on time for once. Oh, man! I made it! I made it! <laughs> Dude, I was just kidding. The end. Thank God! Are you kidding me? If you had any idea how long this process took, you're sitting there just playing the game whenever you damn well feel like it. Speedrunner, my ass! You couldn't speed run a... I don't even know what I'd use as a, as a simile for that. Because it's stupid. Speed running. I don't even know what that is. That I even... This isn't even my normal speaking voice. I'm an American and I'm doing a British accent in this recording studio. I don't want to do it anymore. I've had it. I don't want to talk like this. Do you know how difficult that is? I'm, I'm going home. Jory, I'm out of here. <laughs>